and welcome back so in today's tutorial we will be exploring one more thing out okay that is with respect to matrix okay so if you are not aware okay you must be aware about matrix instance because i have worked on a lot of use cases where i used matrix okay but if you are not aware about matrix in service now so in service now matrix are the measures or specific aspect are the major or specific aspect of system performance usage or business process that can be used to track and analyze data over the time okay matrix can be used to identify trend monitor kpis okay and help drive process improvement so for example okay uh, if you want to see what is the response type of incident okay or how much time uh, a change took to get closed to reach the closure state in all this aspect you can use the matrix definition okay so if you are aware about the same okay a uh, matrix instance is applicable or the this calculation is applicable only for the task extended tables okay uh, so how we can how we can extend it out if you want to use the same for non task table non task extended table right so in today's tutorial we'll be seeing on the same so the use case for today is like for the use case scenario is like sys approval table i want to track the state change on the sys approval table sys approval approval table okay and today we will be seeing how we can do that okay so let's first go and create a matrix instance first of all we will see right whether it's getting really it's not getting supported or i'm just creating hype out of it okay so let's go how to go to the matrix first of all we have to define the matrix definition so for that we have to go to matrix and the matrix we have matrix definition okay we want to do it on sys approval approval table right so we will create a new and uh, we'll give it on rule so you can create a definition okay but the calculation will not happen i will show you how so i will give it a name as approval matrix on which particular field out of it so we want to have it on state field how much time it took to move from requested to approved or reject kind of things right i will keep it with field duration only and just save it out okay sound like a plan now let's go to the table so for that i will just go to sys approve approval underscore approval dot list i always get confused with this name okay so how, how i make it there are two segments approval and approval okay what came alphabetically first it, it will be first so approval l is first and then r you can define your own logics okay and now if i open any record for example this requested one okay if i go over here and if i change this out from requested to approved and i will save it out okay and from approved i move it will not take the uh, it will not take into consideration the previous actions right because we just created the matrix instance so let's do two iterations okay from approved and from approved i'll move to cancelled i'm just doing some random things okay so two iterations are done now as per the definition of matrix this action should get captured into matrix instance let's see so how we can see that for that again we have to go to matrix and under definition we have matrix instances right this is where the actual data get captured so if i go and what was the name for the matrix which you have created let's see it was what approval matrix right approval so let's search if we got something for approval and the answer is no so we have created a definition we have created a proper definition but it didn't work it didn't calculate it out what's the reason behind it so the reason behind it like is with respect to one business rule okay so if i go to business rule 
and if I go to business rules, okay, and I search this out with metric. So there is this business rule word metric events, right? Okay. And as you can see, it's on the task table only. That's why it's doing all the calculation only on task table. Pretty bad, right? So if I want to use the same capability on approval table now in our use case, okay, how we can do that? Simple. Okay. Don't change this out. Okay. You don't, you should not change the out of the box, uh, definition anytime. Okay. So we will give metric instance approval I'm telling you that you should not change and I'm changing it out and here I will select the table which was approval table this approval approval and here I will do insert and stay so what it will do it will create it will not do any changes on this record it will create a replica of this record with the changes which you have just done so i'll do insert and stay so it will stay over there so this is a new business rule you don't believe me right uh let's see okay so i will go i will just copy this out okay the initial because the initial name should be the same is common right import the thing so I will go over here and over here only. Oh, let's go to the history business rules. There was one with this name, right? Now there should be two. So you can see metric instead, metric instead approval. So I think this should this should be fine. Okay, only this changes should make it happen okay let's see if something got needs to be changed apart from this after we don't care about this and we don't care about the script because it's working on the task table okay so let's again go on what we can say on approval approvals let's take another record with the requested one and we'll follow the same thing what we did first we will approve and then we will cancel it out if it opens come on okay so this is record now what I will do I will just change the state to approved save and then we will change it to cancel save we will go to metric instance again other metric instance Okay, this matrix. Okay, this this how all the metric instance and now if I search for approval, you can see approval metric matrix got calculated now. Okay, perfect, right? Okay, so this is how it works. Okay now you will be thinking from where this no longer came right okay because a record has a change request had multiple records if you approve one record the other approval records will go to no longer state okay that's why this came okay so this is all for today's tutorial okay i find it pretty useful okay because uh, i always use a metric instance okay this is the most significant way to track the things out okay to do validation based on the window and all those things out so in this way you can extend this capability from task table to non task table also so this is all for today's tutorial hope you like it out okay if you want to get notified with my future updates or future videos okay please subscribe to my channel and like this video okay till then stay safe stay happy and have a nice day thank you